I am Rajesh. Welcome to Rec TV Education. Today I am discussing the topic Sequence and Tangents of a Circle. Circle definition first. The locus of a point which is at a fixed distance from a fixed point is called circle. That means so here we have to take a fixed point. From this point we have to take all the points which are at equal distances from this point. So that means like this. all the points on this circle are equidistant from this fixed point the fixed point is called center of the circle and the fixed distance from this fixed point to any point on this one so that is called radius of the circle so here this point is center of circle the line which passes through any two points on the circle so here this is the first point and this is the second point so this line is called secant line secant the line which passes through any two points of a circle that is called secant and the line segment which joins any two points on the circle is called chord see in a circle the longest chord is always diameter diameter is nothing but the card which passes to the center of the circle so here this is a card that is passing to the center of this circle now this becomes diameter now here this is radius and smaller and this also radius small r now the length of the diameter is equal to r plus r that is equal to 2 r this total length is equal to 2 r next the straight line which touches the circle at one point that is called tangent this is called tangent of circle tangent always touches the circle at one point only so for any circle we can draw infinitely many tangents So here this is the circle if a point P lies outside the circle we can draw two tangents from this outside point so here the tangent from this point P touches the circle at A and B so here this is the center of the circle C otherwise o we can we can take and this is radius smaller and this is smaller radius so here the radius always makes an angle 90 degrees with the tangent at the point of contact so here at the point a the tangent is at 90 degrees with the radius now if you join this op line so here the angle is equal to 90 degrees here also the angle is equal to 90 degrees and op that is the common for this triangle and this triangle and this oa is equal to ob now from triangle o a p o a p and triangle o b p angle a is equal to 90 degrees angle o a p is equal to 90 degrees comma from this angle angle o b p that is equal to angle o b p and next o p is equal to o p that is the common side for these two triangles and next o a is equal to o b radii of circle so here we can use the rhs congruency rule the right angle hypotenuse and one side so by using rhs congruence rule 
ट्रायंगल ओ ए पी इज कॉन्ग्रुएंट विथ ट्रायंगल ओ बी पी फ्रॉम दिस वी कैन से दैट पी ए इज इक्वल टू पी बी सो द रीजन इज सी पी सी टी करस्पॉन्डिंग पार्ट ऑफ कॉन्ग्रुएंट ट्राइंगल पी ए इज इक्वल टू पी बी दैट मीन्स द लेंथ ऑफ द टैंजेंट फ्रॉम द पॉइंट पी टू ए इज इक्वल टू लेंथ ऑफ द टैंजेंट फ्रॉम पी टू द पॉइंट बी इज सेम सो दैट मीन्स द लेंथ ऑफ टैंजेंट्स ऑफ tangents drawn from an external point to a circle are always equal if the point p lies outside the circle we can draw two tangents from that external point so here this is one tangent and this is the second tangent and if the point lies on the circle we can draw only one tangent through that point so here this is only one if the point lies inside the circle we cannot draw the tangent to that point so here the number of tangents is equal to 2 number of tangents is equal to 1 here the number of tangents is equal to 0 this is a tangent the radius from the center to the point of tangents point of contact always makes an angle 90 degrees so here this is o and this is p op is perpendicular to this tangent l and in the same concept if we consider a circle let ab be the chord and so here o be the center the perpendicular bisector of ab always passes to the center that means if you draw a perpendicular bisector for this one so that is always passing to the center of the circle the angle is equal to 90 degrees and here ma is equal to mb so here this is the given circle here we don't know the center of the circle how can we find the center of the circle there is i am explaining that one we have to we have to consider any one card from this point so this is a and this is b first we have to draw a perpendicular bisector of ab so that means by taking a radius more than half of ab and from the point a take a as center and mark one arc just above and below with the same radius radius we have to cut the previous arcs from the point b now join these two points now this becomes the midpoint of this one this line this line that becomes the perpendicular bisector of ab now we got the perpendicular bisector of ab let us consider l now again consider any one more arc so that is pq for this also we have to take radius that is more than half of pq and take p as center and draw just arcs two sides of pq from this point p and again with the same radius from this q you have to intersect those two and join the those two so this line let us consider m m becomes the perpendicular bisector of pq now the point of intersection of uh, the line l and the line m is the center of the circle this is o construction of tangents to a circle from an external point so that is p so here the point p is some units di uh, distance away from the center c now first we have to join these two points c and p after that for this cp we have to construct a perpendicular bisector that means we have to find the midpoint of cp by taking the radius that is more than half of cp and take a Uh, c as center draw two arcs from above and below now take p as center uh, with the same radius just intersect these two arcs now this line becomes the perpendicular bisector of this one now this is a midpoint m 
now from this point m this point take as center and with the radius cm so that means uh, from this point take this radius and just we have to draw a circle that circle passes through the point c and p now this was a uh, new circle cuts the given circle at two points so here this is the point a and this is the point b now we have to join pa and pb pa and pb now these two are the required tangents from an external point p to the given circle this is the reason question 1 prove that in two concentric circles the chord of the larger circle which touches the smaller circle is bisected at the point of contact so here first we have to think about the concentric circles what is the meaning of concentric circles concentric circles are nothing but the circles which have the same center like this so it is the center of the circle this is the first circle and this is the second circle these two circles have the same center that is o now these two circles we can call concentric circles the chord of the larger circle that means this is the larger circle the chord of this one touch is a tangent to the smaller circle that means the chord of this one touches the smaller circle so here ab is the chord of the larger circle that touches the smaller circle so here we know that the angle is equal to 90 degrees this radius from the center to the tangent always making an angle 90 degrees with the tangent and we know that oa is equal to that is the radius of the larger circle and ob that is the radius of the larger circle capital r and this also capital r now om that is perpendicular uh, here om is perpendicular to ab and so here we have to show that the chord of the larger circle that means ab touches the smaller circle at m is bisected at the point of contact the point of contact is m so here we have to show that am is equal to mb am is equal to mb from these two from these two triangles now from triangle oam and triangle omb from these two triangles angle omya angle oma is equal to angle omb is equal to 90 degrees so here these two angles these two angles are 90 degrees from these two triangles our next one om is equal to om that is the common side for both the triangles and next one oa is equal to ob radii of larger circle so here this is 90 degrees and these two are the hypotenuse and this becomes a side one by using rhs congruence rule right rhs means right angle hypotenuse side so here by using rhs congruence rule triangle oma is congruent with triangle omb implies am is equal to mb what is the reason here cpct corresponding parts of congruent triangles therefore am is equal to mb that means the chord is bisected at the point of contact so that is the required proof